Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T Touch practitioner for animals and people. This is Tristan. He's a corgi, and we're here for an episode of Conversations with a Corgi. And today we are wrapping up our long series on dogs with jobs. Tristan's exhausted just thinking about it. He just collapsed. Um, so we started with canine good citizens and the little test that you can do for that with your dog that many places offer. Um, a lot of hotels and housing options will uh, give privileges to you with your dog if your dog is a canine good citizen. It's a great thing to do with your dog anyway, no matter you plan to travel with him or not, uh, because it's a sign that you are a responsible dog owner and your dog is a good dog. And then we looked at uh, therapy dogs, dogs that visit nursing homes and schools and uh, other places to provide therapy. We looked at comfort dogs, which are dogs that are called in during a crisis to provide emotional um, recovery for people. They are a type of specialized therapy dog. We looked at emotional support dogs. These are not service dogs. They don't have the same privileges as service dogs. And emotional support animals have some allowances with housing for their people, but they are not allowed in restaurants. They are allowed on airplanes. They have to be a dog if they're on an airplane. And there are other rules. And we looked at that guy in Florida with a squirrel that he had rescued from Hurricane Matthew, I believe, and how he was denied housing for having an emotional support squirrel, even though I have no doubt that that squirrel was providing him with emotional support and vice versa. He had lived with that squirrel for a while uh, in his apartment. And uh, he was asked to move to another site after uh, his time in court. And then we also looked at service animals which are allowed to go everywhere with their people because they are requiring the person is requiring a service that that animal is providing whether it be helping them with their gait hearing sight seizures diabetes dogs do a lot of great things through their um, nose sense and other sights uh, sight and hearing senses that they provide for people who don't have full function in those areas and then we also looked at search and rescue dogs and the kinds of training that they go through um, and the important work they do helping to find missing people um, and in police work and during disasters after earthquakes and things or after 9-11 those dogs work tirelessly in really adverse conditions and then we looked at um, a service dog oh then we looked at police dogs, dogs who work in law enforcement and their specialized skills. And we also looked at dogs in the military and what they do with their specialized skills. And I did post um, sort of an extreme dog um, talent act online <laughs> um, about a military trained dog in Japan or Korea or somewhere demonstrating his skills. It was a great thing to see. Uh, she has been Puppy training, good luck with you, Pat. <laughs> Puppies are fun at Christmas, right, Tristan? Remember that? He says, I was a good boy. He didn't pee on the tree or open any presents. He just ran around the house in excitement. He was a happy puppy. Because <laughs> you had a big brother named Comet. Uh, and after that, we looked at dogs in acting jobs and what those dogs do and how you might be interested in training your dog to do some acting work. And then today we are looking at the most important job that dogs can do, which is be our buddies and our friends and our companions and our pets and however you want to call it. They are our, our children in many ways. That's a metaphor that people I think use just because other people really understand the idea of your dog being like a child. But really your dog is in many ways better than a child. He doesn't have temper tantrums. He doesn't usually pee all over the place and um, they don't have a big college bill. So uh, dogs are not really like children, but they are so much to us. They give us so much love and support and companionship and emotional support. Even if they aren't trained to do that, 
Our dogs provide us with many, many gifts, and we are so fortunate that there are dogs in the world and that there are so many kinds that everybody can find their favorite and that dogs will happily live with us and meld into our lives. They are such a social being that they have no problem integrating themselves into the lives of humans and making themselves the kind of person that we want to hang around with. Right, Tristan? <laughs> He says, I am a little obstreperous with the barking at the new neighbors. So uh, that is, in fact, probably the most important dog that, uh, job that most dogs have. And what you know, many of us have dogs for is to, oh, hi, Richard, um, to provide us with love and companionship. And it's a really critical thing that dogs provide and not to be underestimated. Just because your dog is not certified for an emotional support pet or a therapy dog or service dog or retired from the military does not mean that your dog is not special and unique and extremely important to you and providing wonderful, wonderful benefits to you every single day. Some of the health benefits we know that dogs provide is a lower blood pressure, decreased stress levels, increased activity levels, less depression, and all kinds of other emotional benefits. Dogs provide so much for humans that we are, as I said before, are lucky that they want to be with us. Our corgis make us smile and laugh every day. Yes, that's an important benefit of having a pet as well. I have corgi, this corgi, and corgi stuff all over my house because every time I look at a corgi, I feel happy and I smile. And smiling, as we know, benefits us emotionally because it raises our oxytocin, the trust hormone, and our serotonin which is the happy hormone levels in our bodies as well as dopamine, which is something that can be very interrupted as we age. So having the happiness that pets provide us is not to be underestimated. And like I said, every time I see one of the many corgis in my house, I smile. And right now I'm looking down at the end of my dining room table at my newly acquired Danbury Mint Corgi Christmas tree loaded with more corgis than I can ever count, doing all kinds of cute things in every color and type of corgi. And I am just thrilled to have this thing that I have wanted for 30 years or more, and it costs a lot. We'll be eating ramen noodles for a few weeks, but I am happy to have it, and it makes me smile. I can't put it away for Christmas. I have to get some kind of a glass box for it to live in. So um that is in fact the most important job that our dogs provide us with and all the other jobs that dogs do is in conjunction with their primary job of being our friends so that i think is the most important thing to remember over the holidays when we are with our dogs if your puppy's running around the house being naughty still remember that your dog um, is a wonderful thing and will provide you with love and happiness for the rest of your life and if your dog is old, I know that it's so hard to be with a senior dog, and I love senior dogs so much, and I try so hard to support people with senior dogs in every way I can through my work um, and through uh, providing them with emotional support because there's nothing like seeing the decline of your beloved friend. And I really encourage you to feed your dog as well as you can to get them to have as much life as possible with you. And uh, dogs just, I can't even, I, I'm speechless to provide words about how wonderful dogs are in our lives. So I am off pretty soon, hopefully before the snow flurries start to come. And I'm stopping at Monkey's house on my way to New Jersey to see my mom and my sister. And I will post lots of pictures of the fun at Monkey's house when I get there. Looking forward to that. And then on Saturday and Sunday and Monday, someday in there, <laughs> probably... Sunday. I hope to do another interview with my mom and we might have a little surprise with that if I can connect, convince her to do it <laughs> and my sister. So anyway, I look forward to seeing you over the next couple of days and thanks for joining us today for Conversations with a Corgi where we looked at the most important do job that dogs have which is being our friends and companions. You cannot underestimate the value of a dog in your life. So wish us well on our trip. <laughs> Everybody have a great day um, and stay safe and, and uh, 
free of the weather that's coming in here on the Northeast today with the holidays. Uh, we have all kinds of ice storms coming to my hometown, but I'll be in balmy New Jersey where it's, you know, 10, 20 degrees hotter than here. It always feels like Florida when I get there. So thanks for joining us. Everybody have a great day. Biscuits, what do you have to say? <laughs> Thank you, Danny. I will have a safe trip. <laughs> <laughs> this little corgi, he's so good, he loves a ride in the car, <laughs> he goes, he tries to get under the back seat, which there isn't really an under in this car, and then he hides, and he wakes up somewhere around exit three, how does he know the end of the Jersey Turnpike, it's in eight, he is a Jersey guy after all, all those people from Jersey have like Turnpike ESP. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget, tomorrow is Saturday, um, but we still will be a little early tomorrow. Our normal posting time is around 9.30, but I have a client at 9.30, so it will be probably before that. My sister's Wi-Fi is a little unusual, so we might have to go on at quarter of eight before her <laughs> so that we're not competing with Wi-Fi usage. All right, so thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.